Welcome, I'm David Geiger. Cold weather and high demand has Iowa leaders easing propane rules. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds signed a proclamation Friday suspending regulatory provisions of Iowa's code, namely hour of service for crews and drivers delivering propane. High demand and hazardous weather created challenges to people quickly getting propane. The proclamation goes through March 15th. Propane is an important part of the drying and heating process of many Iowa agriculture products, and farmers tend to use it much more during wet seasons or very cold conditions. Corn producers may increase acres by up to 4%. That's according to a new survey from Farm Futures projecting a total of 94.7 million acres of corn planted this year. If accurate, that would put U.S. corn acres at the third highest level ever, with a conservative trend line yield estimate suggesting a 2021 production of 15.3 billion bushels of corn that would top the 2016 record. While the January 2021 survey shows farmers favoring more corn planting this spring, planting intentions for corn and beans are higher than the 2020 level, with many farmers planning to stick to a normal crop rotation. Bean acres are also expected to go up a million and a half to 84 and a half million acres. Top American Farm Bureau economists say livestock producers need something similar to crop insurance. According to John Newton at the Crop Insurance and Reinsurance Bureau meeting, the 2023 Farm Bill will need careful consideration of how to reach the livestock sector with crop insurance equivalent policies, adding there are ways the Farm Bill can be written to get general crop insurance money more utilized. Newton says with more frequent bad weather, the Farm Bill can be used to address situations like the derecho in Iowa and hurricanes and after harvest disasters. U.S. soybean processors could have its third largest crush on record. Ahead of the National Oil Seed Processors Association report, industry analysts told Reuters it would be the third largest ever first month of the year crush. The estimates show producers crushed about 183 million bushels of soybeans last month. If realized, that would be 3.5% higher than January of last year. Daily crushing rates over the past four months have been at historic highs, averaging 6 million bushels a day, with USDA projecting the tightest season-ending stocks in seven years and the tightest stocks-to-use ratio in history. No markets today because of the President's Day holiday. But the Colfax Sheep and Goat Auction on Saturday saw a sale of 55 head of sheep. Feeder lambs fetched the day's average price of $2.91 per pound. There were 45 head of goats at the auction, which saw a high average price ranging from $135 to $320 per head. And that's all I have for the Agribusiness Report today. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next time. We have our stories online. Head over to who13.com, click News, and then Agribusiness.